If you haven't been living under a rock or you paid just some attention to crypto, you probably heard of Solana, Sol, which made about a 10x return ever since mid-July, which is about two months time frame and it did the 10x. If you missed out on Solana, that's okay. I'm gonna tell you what options you have and what you can do. And if you didn't miss out on it and you made this juicy return, congratulations, good for you. Now, let's jump into this video. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Ilya HM and I did not buy Solana before the explosion. I, In fact, I bought some, a very small position just to buy some NFTs with Solana about two days ago. Now, I wish I bought Solana earlier, but I can't dwell on that. But what I can do is I can do the following and show you guys what I'm going to do and what alternative I can buy instead of Solana, which might outperform it and generate more returns than Solana did. I'm also going to talk about the general overview of the market, starting with coin market cap. Right now, the market cap is 1.9 trillion and pressing up towards the 2 trillion market cap once again and we have many plays in the green especially omg network leading the way which is a coin i always talk about on the channel right now the price is 11.61 dollars and it's up 16 percent in the last 24 hours and 19 percent in the last seven days great great return engine coin is doing well so many plays in the green it's not crazy gains but very decent gains compared to any other market out there now solana is looking okay actually so i'm going to tell you guys about solana right now the price is 140 dollars per coin the market cap is 41 billion dollars it's the seventh biggest and once it went up to the third biggest coin i believe so the highest price of solana was 191 dollars on coin market cap however some exchanges showed that it went up all the way to 216 dollars which is crazy and it was a very short time frame since 19 july it went up about 10x it went from 22 dollars to 200 dollars crazy crazy return i don't know if someone foreseen this if they did congratulations now what can you do in this case right now we see the whole crypto market recovering overall but we have some plays that exploded when everything was going down for example solana so solana was going up here while everything was kind of moving sideways and going a bit downwards it kept pressing up but eventually it has to correct so it went down from the all-time high about 45 percent but right now it's down about 35 percent now the quick question is would i buy this personally i wait for 40 to 60 percent discounts typically however if i see a good play where there's a good support range and a potential for of it to bounce then i would buy this here's why i think solana right now is a coin that i would not buy even though as i said i bought about two days ago just so i can buy some nfts with it but not as a long-term trade because I see other coins which still didn't see this huge run up like Solana did. And one of them is OMG Network. I always talk about OMG Network and take a look. Right now we're pressing towards the previous all time highs roughly and the volume is great. So the weekly, this is the weekly volume. It's almost half of the previous selling volume. So we completely engulfed it and we still have three days and five hours to go, which is great. Now Solana, let me show you the exact percentage it went up ever since mid July. So it went up. 860 percent so that's about the 9.6x almost let's say a 10x and even here we're still up 523 percent which is roughly a 6x from two months ago now personally when i see run-ups like this i definitely feel some fomo however fomo won't do me any good what does good is me looking to other coins or other assets that still didn't see that run-up or I even look to other coins that saw a run-up and they pulled back faster than this because many coins went up to all-time highs and then all of a sudden they went down to test the previous resistances right there. I'm not saying Solana will. It might. It's probably highly unlikely because we're like 60% away. Can a 60% dip happen? It might. Will it happen? Probably not. But I don't dismiss the fact that this might go down maybe 25% to $100 or so, which is a fair support in my opinion. But I take a look at other plays and specifically what I do is I compare the price of Solana to another asset. For example, I divide Solana by Ethereum. So this chart shows Solana USDT divided by Ethereum USDT. It's just a ratio that shows what number would that yield and it shows us which coin is outperforming the other and which one's underperforming against the other. So obviously Solana's heavily heavily outpacing ethereum it's been killing it if you held solana instead of ethereum you'd be up 400 percent and right now you'd be up to 180 percent on your ethereum if you held solana instead of ethereum so personally i had ethereum so i'm down quite a few meaning i would have been better off if i had my money in solana instead of ethereum but no one could have predicted that but what we can do now is see that solana is heavily outpacing 
meaning that Ethereum is cheap compared to Solana. Not necessarily cheap, but it's underperforming and I believe it has room to grow. So another thing I can take a look at is the actual chart of Ethereum. This is a bit clearer than Solana. So if you take a look at Solana's chart right here, it went up, it went down, it got supported here, but we don't see any supports, any previous supports because there isn't enough data. We never reached this territory. Now this might be the support we needed. That's, that's it, who knows? But Ethereum on the other hand, we just reached a support that is a very strong support historically speaking. Now, if you take a look at this part, we have this as a resistance ever since May. So we broke out of it actually ever since April of 2021. Then we went back, then we tried to test it again and we got resisted, then we went down and then we broke out of it again. Now this is a support again. So this shows that it's a very strong resistance and a very strong support, meaning that chances are Ethereum is gonna bounce off from this, right? Now, if you take a look at Sol versus Ethereum, now if you invert this, Ethereum USDT divided by Sol USDT, look at how cheap Ethereum is compared to Solana. It's very undervalued. Now, what I don't like is that there's a lower high right here, meaning that this is still bearish and we still don't see recovery. But if I see this go up, and then get supported, then I know for a fact that Ethereum is going to start stealing market share and outpace Solana for the time being. Now again guys, if your goal is to hold Solana long term, go ahead, by all means, definitely do that. But if you're like me trying to play those momentum plays, because honestly, what I did to enter the OMG network, so I entered earlier, but I entered based on mainly this chart right here, which is the OMG versus Bitcoin chart, which showed me that for all this time, let's say you had you were better off holding Bitcoin ever since April of 2018 because ever since we went down 97%. Crazy. So I bought OMG Network when we were down here against Bitcoin. So I bought it when it was in the dirt. And right now we're up 165% on the position. Just like we saw with the chart of Ethereum against Solana. Ethereum is underperforming against Solana. So for that reason, I truly think Ethereum is the play to be in. However, I don't dismiss the fact that they both can excel. However, Solana did its run up. And right now I think it's time for Ethereum to do its run up. And I would say my money is better positioned in Ethereum instead of Solana. But before I end this video, let me tell you another reason why I think Ethereum is a very smart play to be in. And that is because so Lark Davis put a tweet and on September 14th, he said Solana goes offline for a few hours. Arbitrum goes down for almost an hour and Ethereum got attacked. But what happened was Ethereum got attacked unsuccessfully. What this shows us is that Ethereum is very, very developed to the point where it's almost very hard for anyone to breach it. While Solana, even though it's doing great and everything, but it still got attacked and it went offline for a few hours. Not necessarily attacked. I think the network was, was over flooded. I think it was an attack, but it went offline. That's the point. So... The moral of the story is that investing in safer bets or more established coins such as Ethereum versus Solana isn't bad. Ethereum has potential to go to, go to 10, 15 and 20K in this cycle. Not saying it's going to do that next month, but it's a great return. We could see it 3X or a 5X or even a, a 7X roughly on Ethereum, which is great. Like you never see that in other markets. While Solana, it did its 10X return. It doesn't mean it can't do another 10x return and go to a thousand dollars but i prefer buying discounts i prefer buying things before they explode and after they explode the risk that you have against the return is very high so i prefer betting on things that already saw most of its downtrend such as omg network i bought it when it went down 90 percent. people thought i was crazy for buying it because it's in the dirt and obviously no one wants it anymore but as we can see it's still going up again so that's it guys i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope it gave you some insight thank you for watching like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new here and i'll see you on the next one peace out